You're my happy place. You're my saving grace. You're like teardrops on the morning. You're like lightning without warning. It's shelter when it's raining. Get me bust high like I'm drinking. While this whole world keeps on spinning out of control. Yeah. You're my happy place. You're my saving grace. You're like church on Sunday morning. You're like lightning without warning. You shelter when it's raining. Get me bust high like I'm drinking. While this whole world keeps on spinning out of control. <laughs> You're my happy place. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love my baby. Family Spring Flower here, and welcome to Spring's Little Flower Buds Nursery and the Amazing Doll Connection. Hi, guys! Today is Saturday, and Saturday is Dolly Day, so I just had to come on and definitely come back and make a video just reintroducing myself, reintroducing my channel. I'm still gonna be the same person that I'm always being all this time. That's not gonna change. I am who I am who I am. <laughs> That's not going to change. I love my baby dolls and I love my hobby. But most importantly, you guys, I love the connection that we have. Um, unfortunately, you know, in the beginning of the year and, you know, towards the end of last year, in the beginning of this year, there's a little bit of rock is going on. But I basically smashed that in the head with a hammer, you know, and push it forward from here. I just want to say a big, big thank you to every single one of you, come here, baby. Let me hear you all. I talk. Yeah, it's back to baby. I'm gonna change you today. Mwah. I just wanted to say a special thank you to every single one of you that commented on my last video that I had to post up. Unfortunately, it was kind of a you know sad video or not even sad, just really an angry kind of video. I was kind of very angry at what was going on and um what was being done to me, but that's over. That's done by the outpouring of love. I really, really appreciate you guys. It can't, some things kind of saddened me because it's like, wow, so many people have been through so much trying to just play with their dolls and have a hobby, you know, which is so sad, which is why I always will continue to have these stands up. I'm here to play. I'm here to enjoy dolls and make wonderful, amazing doll connections. Last year, I started the amazing doll connection with um, a tea party. Um... And I'm going to continue that. You know, over here, this is the amazing doll connection where we just love and enjoy our hobby. We just want to play with our dolls. We don't want to politic. We don't want to argue. We don't want to fuss. We don't want to fight any of that. We just want to enjoy this hobby and share it with others. I know that's what I want to do. And that's what me and Rezu is here for, right, Rezu? Say yes. So all are welcome here. I don't care what dolls you have. All are welcome here to enjoy and have fun. Again, thank you for the numerous, numerous emails. The numerous emails and DMs and all the comments. I really love and appreciate all you guys. And I'm happy to have met many of you. Um, I know some people have dropped off because of whatever stance they want to take. But that's fine. As many new subscribers here, you know, it's, it's your doors your way. You know, I'm never going to stop saying that. It's your doors your way. So however way you want to run your hobby and enjoy your doors, that's how you do it. You know, so that's what I'm here for. So, yeah, I just wanted to reintroduce, you know, and let any newcomers know who I am and how I stand. Um, outside of that last video I made, if you go down my video timeline, you will see that I'm a person that loves to have nice conversations, frank discussions, um, and just playing with my dolls. I really, you know, enjoy and I have a good time with my little bub bubs, right? No matter where they come from. So this is my little Razu. Razu is a city toys doll and guess what i found out that she was a city toys doll from when i first came into the doll hobby and came onto youtube someone let me know yeah, as i was saying um someone let me know who this doll, what who this doll was because i had no idea my little thumb sucking baby right i found her gosh like back in 2001 or something like that back in Early 2000, I found her when I went to the Essence Music Festival in New Orleans. And I went to a flea market and I saw this doll on the flea market table and she was so cute. She was all scruffy and everything, but oh my God, I fell in love with her. I was like, she's coming home. That's it. That's all. <laughs> and I bought her home and I cleaned her up and 
Yeah, she's one of them. She's a very special baby to me. I love her so, so much. She's in a category all on her own. She is a very dear baby doorway. She was like five dollars, okay? She was like five dollars on a flea market table. So, yeah. I collect everything, you guys. I'm a advert door lover and collector. And ever since getting back into the joy of my hobby, I'm all excited about discovering, you know, that it was a YouTube community upper that played with dolls and stuff. And, you know, learning more about, learning all about the reborn dolls and learning about um, silicones and stuff. I was super excited to go back down the rabbit hole of playing and collecting my dolls again. Um, it's been a great time. 90% of it has been a great time. I've made some wonderful connections with some awesome people. But you know, it's always that so many percent that's not so nice and not so good. And um, yeah, you know, that's just that's just life with social media though, all together. You know, but um, personally her over at Springs Little Flower Buds Nursery, I'm not claiming any community anymore. Um, I'm claiming what I've made up for myself, the amazing doll connection. And I, because I've made, I've, I've really enjoyed connecting back with all my different baby dolls. And I've really enjoyed connecting with my hobby again. And I definitely really enjoy connecting with all you guys out here that watch my channel and were friends on Instagram. And we're just dolly friends. I just love it so much. Um, guys and girls, you know, men and women, it's been a wonderful, awesome, fantastical time. And I will never just flush any of all of that down the toilet, which is why I am still here. And I'm not leaving my channel and I'm not going to throw my channel away or my fun away, you know, because of a few bad apples. That's not the plan. So basically here in 2022, you know, I have some wonderful things planned for my channel, for my doll babies. I, you know, revamped my room a little bit slightly. Um, I have a dolly friend that asked me to you know, show her everything around my room. I definitely will. That that um video is coming very soon. Very, very soon. I'm going to show you my complete doll collection and my dolly room that I have so far. And what, you know, how I store everything. How I keep my baby clothes. How I, where I have everything. Where, how I keep all my dolls. And all of that. So, I, I'm excited to share those things with you guys. I'm excited to share all the babies with you. All of your dolls with you. My, my, 22, my 2022 babies. That I have common. I'm excited to share with you guys. I have one on the way. I thought he had been here by now. But that's the thing about, you know, living in Bermuda. You got to do your customs and all that. Everything takes time. So, hopefully I have my baby soon. And, um, yeah, let's change this little girl, you guys. Let's change up this little girl. You want to get changed, baby? I haven't changed you for a long time. Right now, she's actually chilling out in a... Um, this is Chantilly Lace's outfit. From Paradise Gal, it's about to fit, fit it her so well. So I put it on her. She looks so cute. But I'm about to change her into another outfit. Let me just grab it from over here. I hope it fits. I'm seeing I'm changing her into it, but this might be kind of too big. But let's see what size it is. What size is this? Hold on, guys. Let me check the size. I need my glasses. Hold on. Because <laughs> I can't see like how I used to see. I didn't put my glasses on. Let's see. Okay, it says zero to three months, but it seems kind of big. But we are going to make this work for little Miss Renzo today. So hold on a minute. Let me just sit down. Let me just change my angle. Um, excuse me, little Mr. Cutty. You're going to have to get over because Mama needs to sit down. Why she changes your sister Razzy? <laughs> hold on, guys. Okay, guys, I was just pulling out these that I needed for her. Vintage diaper for Vintage Baby. <laughs> this is a vintage Bonnie diaper. It's the plastic type. Loves from back in the day. I found like a whole bag of loves one time. It was actually two bags there that I found um, in the thrift store one time. And I wish I would have got them both, but I got one package. And these were the cute little diapers that were in there. They're so cute. So, um, yeah, guys, so low. Back to our regularly scheduled program, right? And I just wanted to change this girl out of these clothes and put this cute little outfit on her. Let's rest everything over there. Hi, Razzy. Mama hasn't changed you for a long time, is it? Say, Mommy, you haven't changed. She looks so cute in this outfit. I really want to um get more outfits like this made for her. It's just so perfectly made. Like, it fits so beautifully. I just want to get more made for her, similar to this, if not the exact type of outfit. It's so cute. 
is so cute. So I usually keep her in long sleeve stuff because she is, uh, um, she has this three quarter limbs, like, as you can see, you know, she just got these short little quarter limb legs and arms. And so I usually leave her in this long sleeve bass. I'm going to put this diaper on her. Let's take this dude out of her. I'll probably put that back or something else. But yeah, guys, so I just wanted to chat a little bit more also about being on social media. You know, I've talked about this a little bit before on, um, on one of my videos, but I just wanted to reiterate about being on social media. Unfortunately, social media is wide open it's the world wide web you know what i mean and anything can happen clearly as you could clearly see you know any old thing can really happen and you have to know how to be able to handle that you know i i already i pretty much know how to navigate the internet and i know how to stand up for myself and for me once i've spoke once i've had to come if I come and say something once and then I say it again and then I'm going to say it for a third time. After I had to say it for a third time in a stern kind of way, like what I did with my last video. Um, that's it for me. Like it's, it's completely, I, I will not address it again. I won't address it no more because I find that people that like all of that kind of foolishness, they look for... The response and they want to they want to keep things going and it's all about it's just trolling at the end of the day they call it trolling that's what it is you know and which is why i didn't go on nobody's videos and make no comments on their videos and i didn't make no um response to people individually you know like that i don't do any of that you know what i mean um yeah that's not that won't be an ongoing <laughs> ongoing situation at all from my end of things and like from where I stand and things like that happen once I've said my piece and said what I had to say and all of that is done for me so whomever wants to continue going on and on about it they'll be basically going on and on about it by the self if you understand what I'm saying yeah and I'm gonna go on with my channel so what I do now is see and don't see I see and don't see. If I see something, I act like I don't see it. Because I know, like, you're going to be firm about who you are as a person. And as I've said it before, I, like, I have no issues about who I am as a person. I know exactly who I am as a person. Like, I am very grounded with myself. And that's one of the key things to, do, to be if you want to be a part of social media. You have to learn how to really navigate. And you have to understand that sometimes completely unwarranted something like this can happen to you you know what i mean it could happen you know just just from being on social media just from being on social media it could happen you know i know i hate when that happens when the um a stream pulls in the socks i want to make a hell i don't want to make a hell but yeah guys so yeah that's how you have to just really um know how to navigate the internet it's not always easy i have to admit because some things are very some things that happen to people is very 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 cruel very unfortunate very cruel and people everybody handles things differently but we have to remember that this is social media and you can turn it off like you can literally turn it off that's why i always say about how my block game and my delete game is very strong i, I unsubscribe quickly i block very quickly i i um delete very quickly whenever i see anything undesirable on my channel i delete and i don't talk about it like if i if comments and all that come to my channel and all of that i don't talk about it you know now this event this is the craziest thing i'm seeing happen to me where people was actually you know took my pictures and put them all over the place and calling me it was crazy it was it was really really crazy but um so i had to comment and speak my piece and stand my ground as i will always do but once it's done, it's done, right? That's my point. Once it's done, it's done. And yeah, again, I just wouldn't allow anyone to take me away from my happy place. This is something I really love and enjoy doing. And I would never allow anyone to take any person, especially a person that I don't even know. Like, I don't even know you. Like, you know, like, who are you? <laughs> I don't know you. You don't know me. So I would definitely not allow them to take me away from my joy. Um... And as of now, I don't see anything. And I'm glad I don't. And I don't want to. So I am not, you know, watching any of that. I'm watching fun channels. 
I'm watching what I normally watch. And yeah, that's what's happening, guys. So I just want everybody to just, um, you know, if you're here for the joy and the love of those, be here for that. You know, be here for that. And keep it pushing. Like I always say, if I ever came across somebody's channel and I don't like something that I see on their channel, if I really don't like it, I unsubscribe. If I like the channel but I might not like that video, I just I just move on. That's it. That's all. It's nothing more or less to do. You just move on. This outfit is so cute, you guys. It's a cat. I'm just realizing it's a cat. Oh, look. It's got cat friendly pants. And she's got it's cat friendly um, bodysuit. Look at that. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute yeah so 2022 is about to be fun as fun as it could be you know there's a lot going on in this crazy world so i'm definitely gonna keep my my space my happy space and my happy bubbly joyful space like this is what this is you know in my little world <laughs> in my little life her this is my little happy joyful bubbly place where i play take me back to my childhood and play that's it that's it any razzy so yeah, so yeah, this is my little girl. girl Raz is about 24 years old now, you guys. She's about my son's age. Because she is a 1997 City Toys doll. And like I said, I found out what type of doll, doll she is because one of my dead dolly friends let me know. I was like, what doll is she? I don't know who she is. Like, she's so cute. And she's just got that same original hair and everything. She is just a little jamboree in my collection. And I love her. <laughs> She's just so cute. She's a little big, but not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Okay, let me um wet down and brush down that hair. I was thinking about rerooting her. I just might do it, you know. Like, if I could find maybe the same color hair, I might reroot. I might try it. I mean, people be rerooting and stuff, doing this on a regular basis, rerooting dolls and all of that. Like, a lot of the, um, uh, let's see, which, like, channels, like the Barbie channels. When they re revamp a door and they re reroot it and everything and make them look so amazing. So I'm wondering, like, if I could do that for her. But part of me is so funny because part of me is like, no, you don't want to touch her. Just leave her just like this. Just leave her in her original state as she is. But I'm thinking she'll look so cute with some curly hair, though. Right, Razzy? Say, I look cute with curly hair, mommy. <laughs> do you guys have a door like that no, that no matter, like... She's just special. Like, she's like <laughs> my little scruffiest little cheapest little doll in my collection. But she is so special to me. I just love her. I think she's just so, so sweet. She's so sweet to me. That's what it is. Let's put your hair band on, baby. Turn around so mama can see what she's seeing, okay? Turn around so mama can see what she's seeing. Yes. This little baby is so sweet to me. Like I was saying before, um, you know, when I had when I put my dolls down, you know, because I had my real children now. I had my real children, so couldn't play with my dolls like how I used to. I had to raise my family, you know. So, but out of all my babies, she always stayed out. Like I never really packed her away like that. Like she always stayed somewhere where I can see her. You know, because I just think she's so adorbs. Any baby say yes, I'm adorable. And my mama loves me. <laughs> and my mommy loves me so much. Yes, I do. So she always stayed out, my little Razzie. Always sitting on top of my dresser or something. Even when I packed my other little ones away. She was up and out. <laughs> yeah. She was up and out in it. Say yes, even if I start sitting there, sitting there. Because like... It got down to the point, like, of course, you know, you're playing with those, you got older, you know, you got caught up into other things now. And, um, and look at my lizard, George. I have a lizard named George. I have to show him to you one day. I'm not going to stop it now. But, yeah, um, I, you know, you get to a point, you, you grow up, you know, you get older. I don't want to say grow up, but you get older and you get interested in other things and everything like that. And... I, my doll babies became like, okay, seasonal. Like, I'm only going to change them winter, spring, summer, fall, stuff like that. And then it got to a point where I really wasn't playing with my, oh, I was just too busy, you know. I was a working mommy. I was a wife. I had my three small children. It was a lot going on. So, 
I ended up putting them away, but Razzie always kind of stayed out sitting on top of a dresser or something, you know, and um, I'm so happy that I still have her. I'm so happy that I didn't get a mindset to just get rid of all my dolls. I did get rid of some of them and got rid of them in the sense of like, I gave many of them to my daughter. I gave many of my dolls to my daughter and then, you know, of course, she gets older, she ain't playing with dolls no more. So we passed them one, you know, to thrift stores and stuff to other children, whatever. And, but I always kept her. Amy Lee up there, you can't see her right now, and Jules, I'm just pointing them out, can't really see them, but I always kept them three babies, and I'm so glad I did, because I love them, and they just fit into my nursery so great, and getting back into this hobby, like back in 2018, when I got right back into it, um, it's been a joy, it's been a joy, it's been so much fun, and I'm going to continue to have my fun, you know, it's my happy spot, and we are going to be here to continue with all of that happiness, right, madam? Say yes. Mwah. Say yes, ma'am. That's what we're going to do. I just put my lip gloss on you. I did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She's so cute. She's like the cutest little dumb sucker ever. Isn't she? She's like the cutest little dumb sucker ever. It is precious. <laughs> it's so precious, you guys. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to come on and do a quick change with little Razu. Have a little chat. Say thank you. Introduce you to the amazing Doe Connection. Say welcome to everybody that's new say thank you for staying and coming back to all that have always been here i love you dolly family and remember if you do your way bye bye see you again in the next video say bye baby say bye 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 let's make a thumbnail before we leave